be laughing when everybody knows what the print is from. Um, the print is for Mr. Mr. Nash. Okay. We're located in Akron, Ohio, okay. at a 872 South Main Street, and this is one of his creations. He 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 uh, bring this out from he he molds this all by himself with his hands and everything. Works more than one at a time. Takes about a month to do these. And the only way that I assist would it maybe after he puts a pattern on it, I'll probably add some paint or bring more detail out. But basically this um just done by Mr. Nash and if it's not done the exact way that he wants it done, he actually destroy it. Wow. And then I'll be working on something else in the art shop until he decides that he'll let me do it again. So it's really difficult. If you want to be an apprentice, it's, it's like going back into slavery. Now. <laughs> so, but it, 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 it's, it's fun because you get to go and uh, you see how people really appreciate the work you don't appreciate it when you're at the art shop because so there's there's a damn statue but here it's fun and they look real good after it's done at um in akron ohio at uh, 872 south main street and the phone number is 330-253-7040 the website is woodrownash.com. Everything is unique. You know, you won't see two of the kind. And there are some um, people who claim that they bought these for $800 at the bin. This is, well, I probably shouldn't say it, it's price, it's up in a thousand. It's like a, probably like an eight thousand dollar piece. Ernie Benton. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, basically, you're just going to the inspiration of your art. Well, I've been drawing mostly all my life. Mm -hmm. I'm self-taught, and uh, it's just something that, uh, from an early age, I've been like love to do. You know, and uh, my art, pretty much as in every artist, depicts who the artist is. You know, and as you can see, my work is. I use a lot of music in my work, so it's pretty inspirational to me, and it's all about life, you know. I think uh, you are, from your upbringing, and who you become, the way you live, with respect, dignity, pride, so I try to depict that in my, in my work. So you may see I do a lot of music, but my subject matter, I try to make it always look proud, you know make you feel comfortable. I started professionally in 2004, and I've been doing it professionally ever since. It's something I've been wanting to do all my life and hope that I had got the opportunity to do it, so I love doing it, yeah. But it's all about attitude, you know? Uh, this is called soul embrace. It's just about embracing, embracing you know, embracing everything that's positive, you know.
name is Sonia Henderson. I'm an artist. I'm a visual artist. I paint, I draw, and I sculpt. Uh, this is one of my pieces. Um, the pieces that I made for the Gallery Guichard, um, um, Artie Gras 5, uh, are these gold pieces. The gold pieces, um, uh, the gold pieces represent a lot of different things to me. Um, healing for one, but uh, in the inspiration for this series of work uh, happened when one of my friends was deployed to Iraq and I began thinking of his job in Iraq driving a, a tank and uh, driving people back and forth through landmines and things. So they, I began thinking um, above and so these are kind of top, topographical maps of um, somebody's drive back and forth and um, what they may experience uh, on the ride back and forth. That's what the first three were, but as I began to grow with uh, the work and the materials, the me I love being here. Uh, this is a spectacular event. I am very, very pleased to be represented by Gallery Guichard tonight for this wonderful event, and I couldn't be um, prouder of my work and all the work that I'm being shown with. The artists from Africa are incredible. The sculptures that are in jade are inspirational to me, and I hope I can take that feeling back into my studio and work, work, work. Most of these records um, that I use come from my uh, DJ collection, and uh, I went down the basement after I injured myself, um, started breaking up my records, you know. And um, from that, two, three months later, I um, went back in the basement and had the idea to put them back together, you know, kind of like putting my life back together, you know, on, on many levels. And um, a couple of years later, yeah. Well, a certain series of events will put you back, you know, age or not, you know. I saw Jimmy Hendrix from afar, but yeah. I had no idea that it was made. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I made out of modern records. Modern records. That's actually record. a, a mint condition a original that I had actually from the original press. Uh, ended up breaking that up. And I started putting the labels actually on the records um, when I first started. People didn't know that they were vinyl records, and um, once you let people know that the medium that you use in the vinyl records, you know, they people light up. You know, they really identify with with the artists, with the people, with the with the, with the music, with that genre. And um, ever since I, uh, like I said, start debuting my work, as you see it, a Run DMC as well as Blue Man, you know, and, um, I start putting the labels there, so I didn't have to, you know. Do a rundown of you know, hey, this is Lauren Hill, you know, kind of got its own gallery tag in a way, you know, without actually having to say that, me having to stand there X Y Z. So, um, actually, I've been doing, doing the art since I was younger, and um, from that point, uh, got into DJing, and then uh, back to art, kind of mixed the two together. So, um, I'm back to DJing. Actually, oh, uh, Lovin, that's L O V Y N H at Gmail.com.